So today's poem is going to be Self's the Man by Philip Larkin. And this is taken from his collection, The Wits and Weddings, published in the 1970s. Self's the Man. Oh, no one can deny that Arnold is less selfish than I. He married a woman to stop her getting away. Now she's there all day. And the money he gets for wasting his life on work, she takes as her perk to pay for the kiddies' clobber and the dryer and the electric fire. And when he finishes supper, planning to have a read at the evening paper, it's put a screw in this wall. He has no time at all, with the nippers to wheel round the houses and the hall to paint in his old trousers and that letter to her mother saying, won't you come for the summer? To compare his life and mine, makes me feel a swine. Oh, no one can deny that Arnold is less selfish than I. But wait, not so fast. Is there such a contrast? He was out for his own ends, not just pleasing his friends. And if it was such a mistake, he still did it for his own sake, playing his own game. So he and I are the same, only I'm a better hand at knowing what I can stand without them sending a van, or I suppose I can. Might as well read the one on the next page as well, which is Take One Home for the Kiddies. On shallow straw, in shadeless grass, huddled by empty bowls, they sleep. No dark, no dam, no earth, no grass. Ma'am, get us one of them to keep. Living toys are something novel, but it soon wears off somehow. Fetch the shoebox, fetch the shovel. Ma'am, we're playing funerals now.